Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout. So Fallout 4 has officially been announced, which is super exciting and I cannot wait for it. And that trailer, holy crap, that was awesome. Um, it was a couple of days ago probably now that that was officially announced. Oh, the force fields came back up. But, yeah, super exciting. So, um, last time I annihilated all these super mutants. And figured out how to turn off these force fields with this radio. But, I couldn't figure out how to get through these red ones. Um, I don't know if there's any way to interact with them, so I'm just going to do something really stupid. <laughs> okay, apparently you can just walk through the red force fields and take the damage from them and it's fine. Whatever. I don't know if there's a better way to do that, but that's the way I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Six points of damage. Wow. Okay, so there are these. Wow. Uh, there are a lot of muties. Um, so we can either take the little bit of damage from that and try and sneak around, or we can just take them all on full force. Um. Gosh. This is going to be nuts. Okay. So we're going to switch around to stim packs obviously I think I may need to just leave and go buy a bunch of stim packs actually I don't know we'll see how far we get we'll try to can we just attract one of them over here somehow like in uh, Hotline Miami <laughs> or is he just gonna bazooka the crap out of us and we're gonna die right here right now how much damage does that do 79 points hmm I'm dead did exactly my HP. Neat. Alright, so <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Pretend that didn't happen. And buy some stem packs from somewhere. Sell some junk, buy some stem packs, packs, etc, etc, etc. Be back in a bit. Hello again, Initiate. Uh, things going well? Um, I kind of figured I would go to the Brotherhood. And let this guy know about the military base because I remembered that we had to uh, scout out that area. So I have some information from the got? north of here. What do you got? So the base Finally. crawling with mutants. Well, this will get the elders off their butts. We'll fortify the fortress and surprise those damn mutants. Can't play defense on this one, Maxon. So uh, what is your alternative? Well, the obvious is something needs to be done. It would be best if we attack the mutants before they attack us. We're going to need the elders on our side for this one. Mm, not a bad plan. Tell you what, let me go try and beat it into the elders. No guarantees, but I'll try. Well, that'll be an interesting fight. Just a bunch of old people slapping at each other. All right. The elders have called a meeting. They wish, to, they wish you to meet them in the conference room right away. Okay, thank you. All right. Ah, the door closed. Oh, pff, somehow I phased through it. Whatever. All right, let's go talk to the council people. Maybe we can get the entire brotherhood up there with us to uh, do the whatever thingy and kill all the, the mutants so we don't have to. It'll just save us a bunch of time. The meeting will come to order. Gavel sound, gavel sound. All orders are, elders are present and have agreed to hear out the claims of the brother Babe Ruth. We shall determine what actions to be taken. Babe Ruth. Tell us what you've seen to the north. During my explorations, I found military installation being used by mutants. It is heavily guarded and patrolled regularly. And what do these mutants look like? They are large humanoids. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Their muscle mass is well beyond a regular human could ever gain. They appear to be several of them guarding the gate and organized troops. <laughs> they were big, greenish, carrying weapons. What threat do you assume these mutants pose? Just as the Brotherhood has been gearing up for battle, this mutant army has been preparing for something big. Frankly, your report has not shown any proof of that. They are a threat to us. What proof can you give us of their hostile intentions? They're gathering an army, a heavily armed army. <laughs> they certainly aren't just going to parade around. They intend to use it. So by these actions they are taking, is it feasible? It is feasible that they will eventually come here? It is possible that they're already on their way here. The Brotherhood is the only real opposition they could have. 
What do you suggest? A preemptive strike at their military base? Yes, I want to know... But they don't give you any other options here. Yes, I want them to know we are coming, though. Don't want them to know we are coming, though. A small team would stand a better chance of getting into their perimeter without being detected. So be it. You should have three paladins of my choosing to meet you at the military base to help you get inside. Elders, thank you for your time. Best of luck to you, Initiate. Oh. Get a little bit of backup. Also, is it just to help me get inside, or is it to, um... To help me through the base because just helping me to get inside, I've already done that. So it wouldn't be very much use. Oh, we got 1500 experience, so that's good. That's something at least, right? Alright. Um, something I just thought, or I thought about earlier, whenever I was watching the Fallout 4 video for some reason. Um, what if the guy who's the head of the Super Mutants is that Dr. Richard something or other guy? That was um, the mutant guy who I think his name was Harold? What if... Because he said he fell into a vat of some sort, right? And that place has FEV all over the place. So what if that's him? That's crazy. To think that the guy who went in there to stop him is now the guy leading the super mutant army. It's probably not true. Probably not. But it'd be funny. Not funny. It'd be interesting. Junk town. All right. Well, again, going to buy stim packs and super stim packs and whatnot. Even though those don't really protect me against the blows, but I guess they'll heal me up afterwards. So anyways, see you back there or whatever. You know what? I may just go take out these raiders for no reason. You know, clean up the wastes a little bit. The cons, apparently. Let's go in here. There's a guy. Gotta check all the tents. Oh, jeez. Apparently he doesn't know I'm fighting him yet? Ah, oh, well. We don't make friends with traitor raiders. Almost called them tra- or I did call them traitors. The only thing raiders is good for is dying. Uh, what? <laughs> How did this person hear or see me? Are they gonna throw this spear at me? Probably, right? Okay. Let's get in there. No damage. And they missed. Oh, you had a friend. What were you two doing in there, huh? Hit you right in the eyes with my gigantic sledgehammer. Even though your eyes... I don't know, maybe we hit him with the corner of the sledge in the eyes? I don't know. This is super tough. <laughs> I don't think they can damage me, and I think I'm probably just going to end up one or two shotting them all. Oh, he's still alive. It's, uh, oh, we have to use all of our AP to get to him. Petrox. I don't know why. I, I never I never talk to people in this game. Apparently I just go in hammers a swing in, even if I mean that guy in the tent didn't even try to attack me, did he? Maybe these are nice raiders. Maybe they're like I don't even know. I was gonna say Raiders of the Lost Ark, but I don't even I never I don't even know. Um <laughs> They're all just Indiana Jones trying to make a living and we're up here killing them all and their families are all gonna be really sad because they all just died are there children in this game I can't even remember oh well another one bites the dust uh, another one bites dust knock him onto the campfire so that we can cook him while we're fighting him all right time to go in here fresh meat he says oh no there are women that aren't wearing armor in here that's not good. I missed. Come on, how do you miss? You have a giant sledgehammer. I guess it is a pretty slow swing, right? Shot me, his name is Garl, apparently. Go for the eyes. Killed him. All right, one more guy. And Oh no, there's not, there's a guy around the corner. And there are two people in here, probably. And a bunch of people on the outside. No, oh, I will. Oh well, speaking is diff difficult for me sometimes. <laughs> Didn't kill Garl. What kind of a name is Garl? I guess it's a different time, post-apocalyptic world. Hit him in the left arm for no reason. Is it going to kill him? Or just broke his arm clean off, maybe? Yeah, clean off. Bam. 
No, come on, Garl, you're supposed to die. This is... <laughs> what? She just came in there and was like, uh-oh, nope, not having any of that. Let me get out of here real quick. Gosh, Garl's like tougher than one of them super mutant guys. Are these women not wanting to tussle? Are they just all trying to run? Even the ones that are in armor? Yay, I killed Garl. Let's try to end combat. Nope, nearby hostile creatures. Okay. Aha, now she wants some. There we go. What? They walk in the strangest way. They put their hands on their hips and just like sway side to side even when they're in a panic trying to run away from someone that's killing all their friends. Whatever. <laughs> We're gonna go take out this person and then try to end combat and work our way around. Oh yeah. Are you running? Are you scared? Can I just end combat? 200 experience for rescuing slave. Now she wants to tussle, now that she's on the outside of the screen. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. We backed her into a corner and now she wants to... Oh, come on, mouse. Cannot end combat with hostile creatures nearby. There we go. Some people that want to shoot me. Oops, moved one too quick. Too far. Too, too far? A few too far. Gotta kill this person. New record? He's gonna slide all the way to the edge of the screen. Come on. Come on, there we go. Oh my gosh. Look how far we knocked up. How strong do you have to be to knock somebody that far? It's insane. I mean, I don't even understand being able to knock someone that far. Well, bye. <laughs> here we go. Karate Man over here. Karate Man Yang. From Final Fantasy 2 or 4. Uh, one more. Bam. Okay. End combat. I'm victorious for 117 points. This was easy. Alright. Back to the military base. You search for water in the high desert landscape for an hour but you find but you do not find enough to fully satisfy your thirst you have sustained a point of health damage oh so there is a way to die from thirst it just takes forever you know this map is actually pretty darn huge but there are only this many places it's like I don't even know there's this whole black area down here that doesn't even have anything in it I'm wondering what that was for maybe they just um maybe they just had it there to ex have you explore it whenever Oh, there's my military guys, my uh, brotherhood guys. Welcome, welcome to the fight. We made it. You guys are here to help me get in, apparently, and not helping me once I get in, right? Are you in here, guys? No, just helping me get in. Neat. So we're gonna have to do this on our own with three of our guys just waiting outside. I guess they really didn't want to risk their lives for this because. There were the... Whoa. No damage. Neat. Maybe because I didn't stop this time to go through it? Maybe it's just a random damage amount that it does? Alright. We're gonna go down here. Floor 2. To explore some. And by explore, I just mean, you know, do whatever. Um, We're gonna put Super Stim Pack. That's not Super Stim Pack. In our hand. 8 points of damage. Yeah, it was just random. Okay. Um... Seem to be far less guys in this room, far fewer guys, and more guys in this- Gosh, this is gonna be heck in here. Um, let's switch to this. Hopefully not all of these guys have guns. Because if they're just punchies, they should be super easy. Ah, rocket launcher guy. Please, come on, don't kill us. 33 points of damage. Alright, we've got to move here. And hopefully they come to us. Nah, uh, let's move here. Okay. End com end turn. Robot's pulling out his shotgun because he's from the Wild West. Everybody's pulling out their guns. So this is going to be a tough room. Super Mutant Guard reloads. Alright, end turn. Hopefully try to funnel them through this door. Ah, they're not funneling. They're not funneling at all. Alright. See what we can do here. Hopefully the rocket launcher guy doesn't kill us, and hopefully 
he kills his friend. No, please don't critical. Oh, gosh, I'm so scared of those criticals. Well, he killed his friend. Did he kill himself? No. But, ow. B oh my gosh, please. Just die. I can't have you shooting another one of those off. That's... Oh my gosh. It's so devastating. Yeah, okay. Alright. <clears throat> oh my gosh. People from across the world heard that gunshot, apparently. Um, let's use a super stim pack on ourselves. Holy cow, those are good! I like that. I like that a lot. Alright. What's doing? Oh. People are moving. Attacking target. Alright. We gotta switch back. And hurry up and kill this guy. Um, let's hit... He has two motivators, apparently. Does that say motivator? Am I just reading this wrong? Motivator. Mativator? I don't know. Set him in the regulator. Because why not? I need you to die, friend. Because if you don't die, I won't have time to equip another super stem pack. <laughs> Come on! Please! Help me out here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Just gonna equip this last super stem pack. And hope everything goes our way. Huh. <sighs> This is gonna be a fight for a lifetime. Well, actually, it looks like only two of them are coming, three of them are coming at me. So maybe we'll be okay. Just as long as this uh, rocket launcher guy doesn't do a number on us. Please, stop getting up. What is your problem, man? Ah, there's another robot down here. Come on, die, thank you. All right. <sighs> Ting. I wonder if they're just shooting the armor and it's making that noise, or if they're just straight up missing. Human weapons cannot harm me. Human weapons are the same weapons that you guys are using. Alright, let's get around the corner. <laughs> just completely skip out on this row brain, robo brain. Um, no damage. Can I hit this guy? No, he's out of range. So he's gonna get a rocket on us next turn, and we're gonna die. Too bad there's not like a, a defense button so you can arm yourself or defend yourself up again. Oh, sh shoot. He's helping us out. Alright, which one of you is the rocket guy? I can't tell from this angle. Is it. Let's hope it's this guy. It was this guy. Okay. Right? I have no idea. Um. Alright. Ready up a regular shot. No! Come on. No damage, and... Ah, come on, please. He killed himself in the process. Uh, 33 points of damage. All right. Whew. We were just able to survive that. Let's get around this corner. Um, can we get into our inventory? No, okay. I was going to try to get a regular stim pack. Why is this guy moving so slow? Oh, apparently he was affected by the upstairs computer. Um... So we're going to do this. We're going to switch out for a regular stim pack real quick. We're going to use the regular stim pack on ourselves. And then next turn, we're going to re-equip the super stim pack because it's still really dangerous in here, but we didn't want to use that. Um, so let's continue to wait. It looks like this is the only guy coming. So this and the robot. <laughs> the robot is moving super slowly. All right. We should be able to handle this. And then, of course, we're going to immediately save the game after we kill these two things. Hit him in the right leg so he can't stand back up. Nope, just kidding. He has robotic legs. Ah, we found another friend. What did he shoot? Holy cow, 30 points of damage? I'm not going to make it out of this, am I? <laughs> Sorry, what is going on here? Oh, man. Come on. There we go. Hit him in the eyes. He's dead? Yes? Hello? He was killed, okay. I wanna get through this door, robot. Please. All right, we're gonna hit this guy in his CPU, knock him back, and then get behind the wall. Cause again, those guys are kinda useless. I don't think they've even done any, da oh, two points of damage. I always say I don't think they've done any points of damage to me, and then immediately after that, I get hit. Oh, uh, let's actually walk over here to this guy. 
Let's hit him with a full 5 AP thing right in the eyes. Didn't kill him. 24 points of damage, and we took none. Okay. So far, so good, but oh my gosh, there's a rocket guy coming around the corner. Gotta kill this guy quick, and then we're going to switch. And we're gonna use this super stim pack on ourselves so that we don't have enough action points and it just immediately ended our turn for some reason. Because that's broken. We're back up to full. Um. We don't have any action points, so we're gonna have to wait. Gosh. Um. Shoot! We can't. No, what are you doing? Oh well. Um. Critically hit for 26 points of damage. He was also hit for 26 points. Not too bad. It's probably the the lightest we've ever been tapped by a rocket. I think. Maybe this will just end him, so we don't have to deal with him anymore. Ah, oh, crud. It didn't. <sighs> Arg my face. Okay. Um. Can we move over here? No. We can't avoid him. Maybe if we scooch back a few inches? Is this gonna avoid him? Has to reload and then move up. Good. Okay. Tactics. Hit him in the head. Please die. This rocket launcher guys are super scary. Hit him in a vital spot. He's dead. Okay. Cool. Pating. Okay. And we're gonna finally kill this guy. At least we thinned out the numbers in here. Oh my gosh. That was super dangerous. I think we got about half of them that were in this room. There's only one, two, three, four, five guys left. And one of them apparently is coming at me now. Because he can hear the patings from the gun of this guy or whatever. Main structure under attack. Correcting. Gosh, these things are so tanky for no reason. They don't even do a lot of damage. They just take a lot of hits. Ah, come on. Come on. Die. Retreat option initiated. I have to take another step forward. Hit him in his CPU. Is that enough? Toasted. All right. Inventory. Don't have enough action points. Who is stupid enough to anger us? Me. Babe Ruth, the strongest man in the wastes who can knock a human being halfway across the world. Stim packing it up. Wonder if we can get more super stim packs. Oh well. Uh, okay. What? He just walked past me. He did a me. Okay. <laughs> Hit him in the head. Teach him to to not just walk past you, teach him that you're... Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, he's, he learned his lesson. Maybe you'll think of me when you are all alone. 